Hey skydivers, this is Dario again with Skydive Readings and today we have another gear video. Today we're gonna talk about MARDs, Main Assisted Reserve Deployments. More specifically, in this video we're gonna use this Skyhook type MARD as an example. We're gonna talk about what a MARD is, what the Skyhook exactly does, and then we're gonna have a demonstration video of the whole process, quote unquote, in real time. So what is a MARD? Well, as I said, it's a main assisted reserve deployment. There are a couple different models out there from different manufacturers, but they all do pretty much the same thing. All MARDs allow your main canopy to be used as the reserve pilot chute for your reserve deployment. A classic RSL only pulls the reserve pin out, quote unquote, automatically when you cut away your main canopy. But after that, that's it. Your reserve pile should comes out, so on and so forth. What a MAR does is that after it has pulled the reserve pin out, it will actually use the main canopy as the pilot chute for the reserve deployment. And in practical term, what this does is that this shortens by quite a lot, both the time and the altitude that it takes for you to have an open reserve canopy above your head after you have pulled your cutaway handle. So what does the Skyhook specifically do? Now in a Skyhook, there's actually three different systems at play. And in order of activation, those are the Collins Lanyard, the Reserve Static Line, and the Skyhook. What the Collins Lanyard does is that it interacts with the cutaway cable of the riser opposite to where you have your RSL. Your reserve static line, as we said already, it's going to pull your reserve pin out. And then the actual skyhook, which again, it's going to allow your main canopy to be used as a pilot chute for your reserve deployment, drastically shortening the time and altitude that it takes for your reserve to be out and open. So let's look at the demonstration video. And as that video is playing, I'm also gonna talk you through it so you better understand all of these three phases of a skyhook going into action. So here we can see the whole system of a skyhook. On one hand, it's got the RSL lanyard attached to the main riser, and then on the other end, it splits into three. Right here. So you see that this is the same lanyard. If this would get activated, we would pull this off. And then at this point, it splits actually into two here. This one section is the Collins lanyard. The other two sections right here, one is the RSL, which goes to the pin, and one goes to the skyhook. So each of these three, one, two, three, ends, they serve a different purpose. All right, so let's see all of this three components at work. For this, we only released the RSL side. So in this scenario, for whatever reason, the RSL side riser, so the risers on whichever side the RSL is, is disconnected and the other set of riser is not. So the main risers are disconnected and the main riser goes away. Now this RSL shackle is pulling. And now you can see that it is pulling the cutaway cable. And that's the first of the three. So now the calling night lanyards has done its job and also the other side has released. So our main canopy is totally free. So at this point in our very scientific demonstration, we see that the Collins lanyard right here is activated first. Now the next thing that is going to happen is this RSL is going to engage. We're gonna make our lives a bit easier since I am not a 
main canopy getting pulled. But imagine that what my hand is now doing, replace my hand with your main canopy that you have just cut it away. So now the next thing that it's going in tension is the RSL side. And as we keep pulling, yeah, you can see that the pin is slowly coming out. There we go. So the RSL has freed the pilot chute. Okay, so at this point, what is happening now in our Skyhook or Mard debacle is that again, the first thing was the Colin Lanyard releasing the other riser. Then our RSL has pulled the pin out. Now the next thing that is happening is again, imagine that right here, on the left of your screen, this is still your main canopy basically acting as a dynamic anchor, if you want to sound fancy. Now the third part comes into play, which is the actual skyhook. And there you see, right here, okay? So on one side, you have your reserve pilot chute that is catching air and doing all its job, but probably faster than that, more effective, your main canopy, which keeps on pulling on here. So now this, you see, it's going to completely release that cutaway cable. Now, again, there's still your main canopy attached to here. Collins lanyard, that's done its job. RSL, it's done its job. Now it's time for the sky hook to actually pull your reserve out. All right, so at this point, this is what you would see. You would have your pilot chute on the right side, and in here, you still have your main canopy attached to this riser that would keep on pulling everything, and this would actually be your main canopy deploying your reserve, hence the name Main Assisted Reserve Deployment. Over there, see at some point it would also start pulling the pilot. This would all happen in a matter of a millisecond, but then at some point, now your free bag would come out. To recap, three things that are attached to your RSL shackle if you have a skyhook type mart. The first thing, the first part of the show is the calling lanyards, which is going to release the opposite risers to the one where your RSL is attached, so it acts with the cutaway cable. The second part of the show is the actual RSL, the reserve static line, which is going to pull the pin out and open your reserve tray. And then the last thing is the actual sky hook, which is going to allow your main canopy to be used as a pilot chute to open your reserve canopy. All of these three items, so the RSL, Skyhook and Colin Lanyards, they're all connected to your RSL shackle. So if you disconnect your RSL, none of these three components are going to work. None of these three components are going to go into action if you cut away. Mm -hmm.